one three months ago. All right, I'm gonna do this one then. Naldo, one of the world's biggest streamers. All right, let's go. And he even joined FaZe. But his story wasn't without controversy. So also Ronaldo is like literally like one twentieth of our following and is completely irrelevant. So this Damn. is the entire story of Stable Ronaldo. It's all right, Ron. Which would begin on January he hit me with that 2003. That day. When Ronnie Nets, who we all now know as Stable Ronaldo, was born. Now, Ronaldo would have quite the challenging childhood because he would be raised by a single mother after his parents had struggled with divorce. But Ronaldo, however, wouldn't let this unfortunate circumstance get the best of him, as he would be quite the happy kid, spending lots of time with his mother. Bro, when when streamers well when streamers talk about viewer count as like a, a reason to diss somebody, bro, I just feel like God that bothers me bro because it's like it's not about that like if you're if you're gonna cook something somebody for something like that and not acknowledge them as a person for what they bring to the table and you're just gonna judge them by their viewer count you're gonna miss the whole point and just a bit later ron would pick up ice hockey as his new favorite sport but this also really wouldn't go his way or how he wanted it at all because right after he had gotten all the gear he needed for the sport he would get two concussions in a row making it quite dangerous for him to play any longer. So Damn, he, he got a concussion? Yet another interest, <clears throat> and he would end up finding video games. So when he was only 13 years old, he would get his gaming laptop, which he would use to play games like CSGO and Call of Duty. Let's go, but Ron. he wouldn't find a true love for these games, so he would continue to try out new games until he would eventually stumble across a brand new game called Fortnite possibly the most popular game of all time. So when they announced the World Cup, the biggest gaming tournament ever, a young stable Ronaldo was ready to prove himself. So he would practice more than ever. Now, although he didn't end up making it to the World Cup finals in New York, his work still paid off and he managed to make his first earnings across a couple weeks of the World Cup w, qualifiers, Ron. netting him $675 which might not seem like too much money, but it was enough for Ron to upgrade Making his money PC. in Fortnite, it wasn't now, easy, bro. this was a great way for Ron to invest in himself and his own career. And his mom was a huge advocate of it. So with his mom on his side, <laughs> along with his new upgraded computer parts, he would continue playing tournaments with the hope of one day winning it all. Then following the World Cup, heading into season X, Fortnite would announce FNCS, the big tournament held every single Fortnite season. And to kick it all off, Season X's FNCS would be trios. So Ron had once again another opportunity to test his skills, and he would do quite well throughout the season, managing to place better and better by each tournament, managing to make just over $3,100 which Damn. was quite the large improvement for Ron from the World Cup. But little did he know in the very next season, he would have his breakthrough. And it all happened in Season 1 of Chapter 2, where Fortnite would announce the FNCS game mode to be squads. So of course, Ronaldo had to find a team, and this is where Ronaldo would meet a Fortnite player named Unknown Army. Possibly the most important person Ron Unknown would Army, bro. And you might that be was asking, an era. how did they meet? Well, it all came down to luck, because back in the World Cup, one week in duos, Ron and his friend were playing, and they'd gotten pretty much totally destroyed by a player named Unknown Army. So at the time while they were playing, they thought nothing Wait, of Unknown it, Army was a, a cheater? Couple days later, Ron was reviewing his gameplay with his friend, and they remembered getting destroyed in that one fight. So they decided to search up the player who had eliminated them on Twitch. And of course, they landed nah, themselves okay. on Unknown Army's live stream with a little over 100 viewers. And from here, Ron would get to know Unknown through his chat, eventually becoming even better friends. So by the time the squads of NCS had rolled around, they were certain they wanted to play it with each other. So they ended up picking out two more teammates who would end up being Avery and KezKD. And although this didn't mean he'd won any money quite yet, <laughs> It meant a ton to him and his mom, who had always believed yeah, in him. Yeah, bro. We got first in the heat, so the day before, and she was impressed. She was like, you got first? You got... I was like, yeah, you know you have to explain it. You don't get money. Like, right. I was like, I was like, you don't get money, blah, blah. She's like, oh, it doesn't matter. You got fucking first. Aww. And I was, like, I was like, yeah, it was cool. Now, bro. while he didn't win money w from you, this mom, tournament... Bro. Hey, everyone pray from Pete. From Pete. And then... <laughs> 
<laughs> Second so place. Yes. Hundreds of hours of practice. Bro, I couldn't imagine that feeling. Ronaldo bro. had climbed to the very top, Dub. winning the second FNCS in Fortnite's history, <laughs> and this was absolutely massive for Ronaldo. And That's his huge. Career. But more importantly, it Wait, was an first? amazing personal moment. Oh shit! He put in all the hard work he needed, and the whole time he had one person rooting him on. And that was his mom. Now, on top of winning a hundred and eighty-seven thousand oh dollars, he would also make quite the wise okay, decision yeah, you're right. they to got capitalize first. on this win. And he would start using social media, with Ron first posting a video about his massive victory on his YouTube channel. And this would be one of the very first videos on his stable Ronaldo channel, absolutely blowing up with a couple hundred thousand views. Now, Ron wouldn't only use his YouTube because just five days after winning FNCS, he would go live on Twitch. Let's and go. And he would instantly be averaging 200 live viewers. Big. And this huge boost in viewership was more than enough motivation for Ron to keep streaming Bro, almost every single day. His viewer numbers weren't slowly going down as people forgot about his FNCS win. But instead, they were slowly increasing, mm. and this was truly the first W sign personality that really liked Ronaldo because of who he is, and not only because of the game he played. And it would be Damn, this exact clean. concept that would be so important later in his career. Ron would do a stream with another creator that went by the name of Little I ain't take it easy, who I think many of you know. Anyways, Clicks had quite the large audience at that time. And it was a great opportunity for Ron to get his name out there even more. Yeah, why are you talking? Why are you talking? Hello, I'm Shut the up! Yeah, but Ronaldo, what do you expect? Shut up! What do you expect? It's Ronaldo. <laughs> Dog sh watch play. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Out of my head. Now, those were just some of the funny moments that helped Ron have his uh... most successful stream up until this point in his career. Clicks was a part of a team called NRG. And at the time, it was by far the best team in Fortnite. And they just so okay. happened to have their eyes on Ronaldo. So on August 3rd of 2020, Ronaldo would be picked up to join NRG. And w. this huge milestone in his career helped him get his name out there even more than he already had. But it God, would also man. be during this Joining time an org for the first time, bro? Crazy emotion. On Ron. And that was the fact that he couldn't quite keep up with all these other competitive Fortnite players. Like orgs, I feel like we're slowly getting worse. And orgs, worse. being in an org, and it like peak for Ron to accept this at fucking at Fortnite, start, bro. He really just wanted to be one of like the that best shit really Fortnite meant players. something back but then, bro. As he began to stream more like an esports org, you know, Fortnite began to become more and more unenjoyable because he would have to deal with nonstop stream snipers making the game near impossible to stream. But of course, he had developed a new passion, which was streaming, and he realized he could still make great money while doing something he enjoyed much more. Do so orcs pay a lot? Less and less in Fortnite. I and mean, then one day he realized that it there was a depends. It depends on what you bring to the table. Content, which was cast like if you're if, now, to I would say early on, Fortnite the Fortnite pros weren't paid that much. Crew but then that shit really took flight. Tournaments but the problem like the people that were performing that were starting really, to get paid a lot really bored. especially if they had a stream um, the death run map i think is going to be the most competitive <laughs> so yeah uh, i'm excited to do the death run map yeah now ronaldo <laughs> wasn't the only fortnite wouldn't always be so popular and that was mainly due to the fact that the global pandemic was starting to slow down and people had less time to watch streams so as everyone's numbers slowly declined and life went back to normal, Ron's numbers declined too. And while many people watched Ron for Ron while he streamed Fortnite, these viewers just didn't seem to follow him from Fortnite. Because during this time in 2022 and 2023, Ron would see his lowest numbers ever on all of his Different demo, bro. It's tough. And of course, for someone who was on top of the world just a few years earlier, this was quite demotivating and depressing and Ron had fallen into this trap, streaming and creating content less and less. Now, all of these things basically so snowballed 2023? Is that a command in Ron's chat? have to work his way out of if he ever wanted to return <laughs> to doing what he once loved. But it wouldn't be easy. It was a very hard time, and I was definitely uh, rooting for you. But I knew you would get your shit together. There was some nights that you didn't 
returned texts or calls, and I worried and called your manager, and... So while he was Damn. struggling, he would even end up leaving NRG after he heard about some people talking about him his mom is his a fucking back go, bro. within the organization. So in place of NRG, Ron would end up joining FaZe half a year later in June of 2022. Now, at the time, FaZe was in its worst point, so he really wasn't able to do anything with them content-wise. One day, Ron decided to go uh. with Tim the Tatman's chat while he was streaming on YouTube with Cloaksy and Ninja next to him. And Ron basically yeah, just- I was there too, Ron. Don't and worry, buddy. first, the three saw his message and debated whether or not it was the real stable Ronaldo that had messaged them. With Ninja then all of a sudden ranting about Ron tearing down his success and community, totally unwarranted. Right. Is that actually Ronaldo? I don't think so. I mean, the thing with YouTube is anyone can make any account. Yeah, I don't think that's actual. Yeah, that was a day. Also, also Ronaldo is like literally like one twentieth of our following and is completely irrelevant. Actual. He he tried to be an IRL streamer and failed miserably. Yeah. No, after Ron, yeah, totally out of the blue. Yo, he got it so much worse than I did. He was absolutely shocked, Holy so he would fuck. post about it on Twitter. Then, a bit later, he would respond to it on a live stream. So that's the first thing he said. I'm 120th of Ninja's following, and I'm completely irrelevant. I'm not gonna lie, that don't sound accurate. You got 20 million f***ing followers <laughs> on f***ing YouTube, and your last video, which you went f***ing prime in, Fortnite, is not even peaking half of what my newest video did. Now, after all the beef, everyone realized that Damn, Ninja was Ron. drinking that night and was probably under the influence of alcohol. But what he said still definitely wasn't warranted, and Ninja received tons of backlash for it. Yeah, Ninja did apologize that night, and, and he was saying that he was drinking and... The drinks, the drinks were, st were speaking, but like, if that's, if that's what comes out when the drinks start talking, bro, like, fuck. And for Stable Ronaldo, his numbers <laughs> shot up God for a damn. day or two, but once the beef had passed, his numbers went right back. To bro, when I drink, I just, you know, I'm chilling. His normal 1,000 viewers. I don't think about another man's viewers. Time. And to be honest, from type here, shit. it seemed like Ron would slowly fall off dropping viewers consistently for the foreseeable future as he would continue to have quite the inconsistent streaming schedule hold she on we're getting to the blow up audience let it cook and on top of that he was coming off his worst month in the past two years of his streaming averaging just under a thousand viewers so ronaldo could what time only is it? really go oh my god it's 10 40 as, as the og fortnite season dropped oh my god i've been streaming for nine hours a day holy fuck day. i blinked now, at first, Bro, I blinked. were still on the lower side, but as he began to collaborate with other creators, people started to realize he was back. And after just the first two Bro, weeks I blinked. of the season, he would be averaging over Bro, I blinked and we're nine hours viewers. deep. Oh my god. Now, during this stretch of time, Ron would also even collaborate with some of the biggest Oh my goodness. Streaming, being Speed, XQC, and of course, I had an amazing time today, though, low-key. But Fortnite just wasn't very fun for Ron. So even though he enjoyed streaming, he would much rather be doing something else than playing Fortnite on stream. But he tried that once before, and not many viewers really followed him. So why would Ron try to transition his audience once again if he Alright, after this video, before? I gotta wrap the it up. The difference between then We're gonna be live tomorrow, we're gonna have a good time tomorrow. back a couple years ago, his audience was still very invested in gaming, and especially yep. in Fortnite, because okay. they were still quite young causing them to care more about the game than Ron, the stream. But now in OG Fortnite, all the players from a couple years ago returned to Fortnite to give it another try. And of course, they were a bit older. And lots of Ron's old original audience over the years had slowly walked away from Fortnite, focusing more on real life in the time that Ron had his low performing period. So now when Ron had Damn Ron, it ain't working Fortnite with that gun, G. Again, you gotta... This time his audience was much older, and therefore IRL streaming appealed Oof. to them much more than gaming. So okay. for them that we're just gonna skip that little part. Them because their numbers were way higher than they had ever been. So after a couple more IRL streams and a bunch of general <gasps> reaction and chatting there streams, they are. something massive would happen. Now, if you guys remember from earlier in the video, Ron had joined FaZe Clan quite a while back. And at that time, FaZe was in quite a bad place with little to nothing going on. But since then, in the past few years, they managed to get back on the right track. And they would decide to sign four big streamers, being Ron's friends Lacey, Jason, Plackboy Max, and Silky. Now, they wouldn't just sign all these big names. 
because in late May of 2024, Ron, along with the other new streamers in FaZe, would move into a brand new FaZe house in LA, where they would all be able to collaborate oh, this quite is the freely. This is the beginning, and huh? Ron would absolutely take advantage of the space, creating content with Lacey, Max, and Jason almost every single day. And of course, these funny personalities all being together created some of the most entertaining streams on Twitch. <laughs> These exact streams and funny moments that would propel Ron to his all time shit out of me. in his Twitch career, <laughs> both in viewers and subs, which is absolutely insane considering where he was just a year ago, the lowest point in his career. Anyways, Ron and the Phase. I'm happy I watch these videos today, chat. Thank you for recommending them. Continuously streaming fucking a variety w, of different things. Just kind of getting, getting in, getting tapped in, like is you know, appreciate it. Why are you coming here trying to mong me? Hold on, bro. Damn, what you waiting? What you waiting for? Yeah, oh, bro, that's OG. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> They all went on. Yo, Lacey's funny. Which Lacey's funny as fuck, bro. To see even more possibilities with their IRL streaming. Konnichiwa. Oh. Ni hao. Oh, we're started already. We're started already. <laughs> Arigato. Arigato. Oh, we're started already. <laughs> Ni hao fizada. <laughs> <laughs> we in Japan. We in Japan. Look who we found, bro. We found Ray. <laughs> Lacey, look. It's a watermelon hydrating sheet mask. Well, 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 well. well, well. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? What do you mean, good Are you trying to lick it? But no, what do you think about this? This is fine. Do you think they'll allow it? you in here? Uh, sorry. Well, well, well. So from here, it's hard mm. to say exactly what Ron will do, but one thing's certain, and that's that Ron will stay at the top of the streaming game as long as he wants to, with his combination of humor and relatability. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make oh, sure to subscribe wow. and watch this video right here. Wow, that was that was. Chat, I'm not gonna lie, that was a very necessary, like, that was a very necessary history lesson on the past two years since I've been gone, bro. About what everybody's been up to, bro. That was some good shit, bro.